everyone, this is Cactus Skeleton here and welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you can get updated when I upload a new video. Now today I would like to talk about some weird and wonderful stuff that I did as a child. I used to have like quite a few funny ways of saying things such as eyebrows as in eyebrows and lemonades. Another weird and wonderful thing I used to do as a kid was make a witch's cauldron. So I would take this bucket and I would put washing detergent, fairy washing up liquid, twigs, worms, bugs, dirt, and pretty much everything that you can think of out of the bathroom and in the garden I would put into this thing. And I would take a big huge stick to like hubble bubble boil and, tr uh, boil and trouble and it would just yeah like my mum would get so angry because sometimes I would put in like the full bottle of fairy liquid into this like bucket <laughs> so she wasn't too pleased I also once put in quite a bit of her perfume into the bucket and then I proceeded to slosh it all over the grass and I killed most of that grass so that was a very clever idea I was a dickhead as a child once I think I was about seven years old and I got it into my head that going downstairs in a box would be a good idea we had these big boxes well at least at the time like for me they were big boxes because I could, I could fit my whole body into one and so I sat at it and I got my little brother to push me now bearing in mind that my stairs had a landing so you'd have one set of stairs and then there was like a little landing about maybe a meter by a meter and then the remainder of the stairs we started at the top of the stairs Basically, you can kind of imagine what happened. I pretty much went full force into the wall and I ended up having two black eyes and I almost broke my jaw. Um, I looked like a chipmunk being punched in the face, basically. So that was very, very good. I used to also paint snails and basically I used to get the really crappy school paint and just sit for hours painting little designs on these little snails. When I was little, I used to think that you peed out of your bum. I used to think that babies came out of your bum as well. So I didn't really get the concept of a vagina or any of that as a kid. When I was about three years old, I dug up a, a huge big flower bed in our old house and it turned out it had an ant's nest in it. There's a photograph somewhere of me with loads of tiny little white marks where the ants had bitten me and I still remember that feeling of it like I remember feeling like those little like I didn't actually notice it at the time but like afterwards it was just this stinging all over and um, we had to like like loads of like yogurt all over me to stop the stinging it was so painful I also used to think the sheep were falling clouds so I also have a weird habit of keeping a nativity set in my room now as a kid like I was quite religious being honest with you like it was kind of indoctrinated into me like from being really really little like because our family was Catholic like, our family was very, very, very Catholic and um, Irish Catholic to boot. My mum was Irish, so it kind of came with the territory. And I used to have this nativity set that I put in my room all year round and I would carry this little baby Jesus with me from that set everywhere. And one of these occasions, because we went to this weird church that people had at their homes, so we congregated people's houses because we didn't have a church. 
where we were living at that point before it was built and this particular family had a dog and this dog decided to kick the baby Jesus off me which interrupted um, the pastor from doing his service and all I heard was like I think the name of the dog was Maisie. Maisie has Jesus. The dog has Jesus. Jesus has left the room sort of thing and it was like, why? <laughs> I once tried to make paper towel sculptures in the girls' toilets and blamed it on my imaginary friend. I was made to clean it all up. And this was in primary school and I must have been about seven years old and just the sheer amount of mess, it was just so, just why, why did I do that? I used to be obsessed with brown sauce, I would have it on everything, chips, I would have it on pancakes, I would have it with every single thing I ate and I don't know why because I fucking despise the stuff now. Now as a kid, I, I was quite a fussy eater as well. At one time, I would only eat apples with no skin and jam sarnies with layer pack and no crust and that was it. I think this was like for a couple of months or something like that and I was an absolute nightmare as a kid to feed. At one point in time, I was about four years old and we were meant to be living in Brussels me and my mum and my little brother had gone over to Brussels for a bit because my dad was living out there for his job at the time we were going to go move out there and we were just testing like, the waters we ended up not living there because it would have meant learning a new language, starting a new schools and all that sort of thing over there which would be quite complicated as you can imagine And I remember being sat on the train home eating dried Teletubby pasta, like the pasta shapes that look like Teletubbies, sat in between the two train seats because we went on the Eurostar. When at my cousin's house once, I tried to do a Pocahontas dive off a trampoline and ended up with a black eye. And I remember going to school and just being kind of proud of it for some reason. I don't know why. At the same cousin's house, I also swallowed a wasp whilst playing in a deflated bouncy castle because sometimes when it was people's birthdays, we used to get bouncy castles, like rent them out and stuff. And I had a habit of going into them when they were being deflated because I just thought it was fun because it was like being in their own little cave kind of thing. And this particular time there was this wasp and I didn't realise it and it just I just swallowed it and it was just like it was one of the most painful experiences I've ever felt. Now this is a very early 2000s kid thing to do. Do you guys remember the Tamagotchis, the little pet things that were like little round little like egg shaped things? Yeah, basically what happened was this kid had nicked off of my Tamagotchi so I'd left it in my desk and they'd nicked off with it and I got so pissed off like I found them in the playhouse they tried to come out and I basically full force slammed their hand into the door and I think I broke his finger if I remember correctly I, I don't remember what happened after that but I definitely got my Tamagotchi back I used to try and make hammocks out of menstrual pads for my toys and I also used to play with my mum's tampons as well and thinking they were like little um, battleships or spaceships and just like going <laughs> sort of thing with them in the air. Well that concludes all the stupid shit I did when I was little. If you have any uh, stories yourself, let me know in the comments. And I hope you all have a brilliant day, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.